What's that, Mom? The DualShock 4 controller came out with a new attachment? Yes, it did. All right, guys, Sony PlayStation just released a trailer for their upcoming DualShock 4 back button attachment. It will be released January 23rd of 2020 for only 30 American dollars. Let's watch the short trailer together, and then we're going to talk about if we think this is a good product or not. Here we go. Little pump up music, man. It looks pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Hey. 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 Look at that. LED screen, that looks pretty good. We didn't get that on our scuff controllers. Stereo headset jack, that's always good, because if they eliminated that, then they would have some serious problems. Elevate your competitive play, boys. $30 in late January. All right, let's talk about it. So what do you guys think? I actually think this is a really good idea, and I'm really surprised that we didn't see this attachment in the past five or six years, or even on the PS3. The main feature of this controller is obviously that you can now have two back buttons on your controller. Anyone who has used a scuff or any other controller brand that gives you buttons on the back will know that this is a nice feature to have especially if you play FPS competitive type games. Without these buttons on the back, when you do certain actions with the regular DualShock controller, such as jumping with X, it forces you to take your thumb off the right joystick and move it to the buttons on the right. Doing so means that you lose control of your aim for however long it takes you to hit the X button and then return your thumb back to the right joystick. It's really not a big deal if you're not playing competitively or if you just don't really care about getting every little possible advantage you can find. Getting buttons on the back will not magically turn you into a pro. In fact, most people might not even notice an increase in your stats, but generally you are more prepared for a wider variety of situations. I still have amazing nights of FPS games with my regular DualShock controller, and I can still have shitty nights with my scuff. But I will tell you, once you get used to the buttons on the back, you pretty much will not want to go back to the old ways, where it is easier and it just makes more sense to have them there. Now where you will notice a bigger difference is in games that have jetpacks and double jumps that are activated by hitting X. For with buttons on the back, you can jump high in the air while keeping your aim on your target or where you think your target might be. Nowadays, if you want to get a decent controller with buttons on the back, you're looking at spending a minimum of $130 to $150, but usually more. With this new button attachment, you will spend $30. Of course, you still have to buy the PS4 DualShock regular controller, but I'm assuming most people already have one or two of them, so all you need is $30 bucks to become scuff-like. And the PS4 controllers are on sale right now for $40 at Walmart and probably some other stores as well, so get on that while the deals last. So why would you spend $130 to possibly $300 on like a controller like a scuff or something when you could just get this attachment? Well, the scuff controller still offers a lot of customization with colors, grips, joystick length, etc. Right here is my scuff right here. He's a beaut. I really do like the controller a lot. I have a slick black look and there's no... There's no letters on the buttons or anything. It's just really smooth looking. I have four buttons on the back, but to be honest with you, I only use two. I could even take two of them out. But to be honest, the reason why I got this is because I play FPS a lot and I like to play fairly competitively. So I really wanted to get used to a better way of jumping and aiming at the same time. But paying $200 for a controller is almost the price of paying for a new system these days. So it's kind of ridiculous. If this new attachment for the PS4 controller was out before, there's no way I would have bought this scuff controller for the price that I paid. Getting the customization of the color and stuff just, I don't know, it's not worth the money that I paid. But I really wanted the buttons on the back and there's really not many alternatives that are affordable. And scuff is kind of the known brand for this stuff. So this new attachment is, is awesome. I can't wait to try it. I hope it really is good. A lot of these extra attachments on some of these controllers are kind of bullshit though. The main attraction to the scuff for most people I think, like myself, is the buttons on the back and maybe the color customization. But really the buttons on the back are really the only thing that can actually improve your gameplay experience. And now we're getting offered that for a hell of a lot less money than buying say a scuff. Scuff and other controller bands will definitely be rethinking their strategies now that this has been announced. I bet if Scuff dropped their controller prices to maybe even around 100 to 150 max versus the 200 plus that you find yourself typically spending on the Scuff site when you want any sort of extra customization, they might still be able to keep many of their customers. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon, so it will be interesting to see how these other companies respond to Sony's latest invention. 
All right, back to the controller attachment itself. It's got two buttons on the back, which you can map to 16 different functions. On some of the scuff controller models, you have to pay an extra 15 bucks on top of your 150 to 200 that you're spending just to get the button mapping feature. This is great news, guys. Now this back button attachment has become useful for other games besides competitive FPS, so maybe everyone should look into this attachment. You can now play maybe a fantasy magic RPG and put whatever spells you want on your back buttons for easy use, etc. The possibilities and combinations are endless. Great feature to have, PlayStation. Another feature that gives this attachment a one-up on the competitors is the OLED screen, letting you see what buttons you have mapped to which side, which just makes life easier. You can also see what current profile you are using, and yes, I said that, profiles. You can create up to three unique presets for the controller, and switching between them just requires you to push on the screen. Let's say you're playing an FPS game and you're using the classic X button on the back right to jump, and then later that night you want to switch to an RTS type game where you might not even be able to jump and you don't need the X button on the back. Simply switch the profile you are on and you are good to go. Or maybe you even switch the profiles to a different button combination while playing the same game. A lot of interesting things are possible now. Now of course you have to wonder if all of this will function well. Will the response time for the back buttons have any lag? Will the buttons and attachment themselves feel comfortable in your hand? And how about that battery life on the controller now? Well they advertised on their blog that the buttons will be responsive. And I'm assuming it will be very, very quick. I doubt they would release it with any noticeable lag feeling to it. That would be a huge mistake. As far as comfort goes, it looks really good. Really only your two fingers will be resting over the buttons. So I don't see how it could be super uncomfortable or anything like that. But of course, anything is possible. Now, battery life is the big question here. OLED screen shouldn't take up much though, but we really won't know for sure until we are able to use it. Or maybe Sony will put out an article on it stating the battery life of your controller with this attachment. You can always play in wired mode still, but I mean, come on, a lot of us enjoy the freedom of wireless, so I am hoping it is not anything too noticeable. So that's it, guys. What are your thoughts on this new Sony PlayStation attachment? Do you think other competitors like Scuff are in trouble now? Let me know what you think below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I have all sorts of videos on this channel ranging from comedy videos to game reviews to tutorials to live streams, etc. So there's probably something for you. Go ahead and hit that sub button and I will see you guys on the next one.